Okay, so this is my call into C-SPAN uh, regarding the Gulf uh, oil spill uh, down there, the BP oil spill. It's May 3rd, and uh, the call in to C-SPAN in response to President Obama's uh, speech down at the Gulf yesterday. Your calls on the White House response to the uh, Gulf oil spill. The President was there yesterday. He uh, had a number of things to say to officials down there. He met with the uh, people involved in the fishing industry and others down there. Here's part of what the president had to say on the federal response to the oil spill. So, I want to emphasize, from day one, we have prepared and planned for the worst, even as we hope for the best. I would say you're probably uh, not too well prepared and uh, probably not too uh, well planned, considering it's been 10 days, Barack, and you haven't responded yet. All you've done is sent down a team of lawyers. And while we have prepared and reacted aggressively, <laughs> I'm not going to rest. None of the gentlemen and women who are here are going to rest or be satisfied until the leak okay. is stopped at the source. He must have uh, been pointing at his team of lawyers. The oil on the Gulf is contained and cleaned up. And... It's an interesting set of uh, priorities for uh, an environmentalist to uh, make sure that the oil is taken care of first and contained and then cleaned up. Hmm. I wonder what the uh, Sierra Club thinks about that. Let's save the oil first and then make sure we can clean it up. And the people in this region are able to go back to their lives. Oh, and the people and come lives. last. I get it. Now, currently, the most advanced tech technology available is being used to try and stop uh, a leak that is more than 5,000 feet under the surface. Not because true. leak is unique and unprecedented. It could take many days to stop. That's why we're also using every resource available to stop the oil from coming ashore and mitigating the damage it could cause. Much of the discussion Remember that. Uh, here at the center uh, was focused on uh, if we and when we have to deal with these mitigation efforts. President Obama yesterday with a tweet from Jamie who writes that the GOP wants smaller federal government but cries that Obama isn't doing enough about the oil spill. Hypocritical much? Can't do more with less. Actually, Jamie, and this goes right to what Barack was saying, uh, that we're going to try to stop and we're, we're doing everything we can and being proactive. The fact is that the Alabama governor is doing more than the federal government right now. He just deployed the National Guard uh, to build an emergency barrier, not just a flotation device uh, to try to contain hundreds of square miles of oil spill, but an actual barrier that they're building off the coast to stop the oil. So, Jamie, uh, you stand corrected. Smaller government is getting the job done while bigger government is sending lawyers down, worried about who's going to pay it. Of course, the, the oil company is going to pay for it, uh, just like they always do. And it should be noted uh, that while you guys are all freaking out about this environmental disaster uh, and covering for your boy Obama, uh, you were very quick to blame Bush for a hurricane, uh, which is weather. And now that it's man-made, you're giving Obama a pass. That's hypocritical. Okay, hypocritical much. Uh, it should also be noted that the smaller government is doing more uh, to stop the oil and to uh, preserve the people's uh, business and, and, and livelihood down there. Um, Barack has got his priorities confused. Uh, so let's continue. This is my call. Patrick, go ahead. Uh, yes, I just got a, a couple of quick points. Um, go ahead. One, the, the majority of oceanic oil pollution is from natural seepage, and that's from the USGS. Um, two, I like what Suzanne had to say, and I had uh, research experts saying that you can do a controlled burn and the residual tar can sink back down to the bottom. That's, and I'm wondering why they haven't done that. Well, there was talk about that last week. What do you, what, what do you suppose the reason for their, them not doing that is? I just don't know, but I find it very telling that the last Democrat that called wishes this a bigger natural disaster. 
um, Rahm Emanuel said, never waste a crisis. Have I had No, that's true. Um, it, it's it's pretty interesting now that, uh, you know, we were listening to this, a Democratic called and said that he hopes that this disaster escalates so people will realize that off, offshore drilling is uh, dangerous and evil and the oil companies are profiting and all this crap. Well, the fact is that the last time uh, offshore rig had a problem like this was in the 1970s. You can look this up. Uh, Greenpeace, which is an Obama ally, a liberal ally, pro-environment, was the one who started the fire that resulted in the spill. So it'll be interesting to see what the uh, investigation from this BP spill turns up. Uh, certainly these things don't just fall apart. So um, the last, again, there's over 3,500 offshore oil rigs. This is the first spill they've had in 30 years. Uh, by no means is it catastrophic and by no means should it threaten our national security and ability to develop our own energy. Um, you know, uh, President Obama, I, I think, uh, you know, really doesn't know what to do with this one. And if we're going to blame Bush for Katrina, which was an actual natural disaster, you'd better be prepared to blame President Obama for not taking care of this man-made disaster. It's been 10 days. The only thing he's done is sent down a team of lawyers, and uh, he's more concerned with BP paying for the cleanup, which obviously they will, than he is about stopping the oil from coming ashore, uh, which obviously would devastate the South. But maybe, you know, I mean, that's what they're looking for. Rahm Emanuel did say, never let a crisis go to waste. Democrats are capitalizing on it, and judging by uh, C-SPAN today, they're hoping that this disaster escalates so they can stop our own nation from supplying its own oil and entering the national international market of energy. Uh, it's just amazing that these uh, climate change nut jobs are willing to sacrifice um, America which is an economic superpower, so they can, they can save the planet. And all, all the while, we have a natural disaster going on, a man-made disaster going on that's affecting the environment, and everyone's hoping that it escalates. Now, you tell me, does that make sense? Does that sound like someone who wants to put the environment first? I don't think so. Hypocritical much.